Hey guys, it's Disney Monday and it's time for us to check in. We haven't been on for a little while and I got the two like forgotten girls. You haven't seen them on video for a minute. I have been posting some pictures on Instagram and since it is Disney Monday and we have not participated in a really long time, I figured they've been dressed for a couple weeks and I just haven't been able to shoot a video. <laughs> Awful, I know. So... First, I want to show you Miss Kelsey because she is the oldest in the bunch. She has on her Minnie Mouse bib that says, oh, so sweet, which is super cute. And it has a plain old onesie, brand onesie that coordinates pretty well with the bib. And of course, her signature bow. She loves having her bows in her hair. She is definitely a girly girl. And mommy finally found time to do her hair too. And it still looks pretty good. It looks like I just did it. <laughs> and then we got... The big diva, which is Miss Haven. You see, she's sitting over in the corner, pulling her pasty. She likes to play with it. She takes it in and out of her mouth a lot of times. But if she just has it in her hand, she's cool with it most of the time. But if it falls out, then you know, oh my God. You might start hearing her start screaming, especially if she can't find it. So she thinks I should be the one to find it for her, you know. <laughs> but um, that's the diva in her. Little Miss Haven, she's also wearing a onesie brand onesie. And her little mini mouse bib says, Little Cutie. <laughs> but she definitely is a little cutie. Look, guys, she finally has her ears pierced. She's definitely a big girl now. No turning back. She's definitely a girl and going to stay a girl. So, Miss Kelsey just celebrated her second birthday. I can't believe it's been that long since I've had that baby girl. Miss Haven has a birthday coming up really soon. She will be turning one. And I can't believe I had both of them, <laughs> you know. But um, I think I'm pretty happy with my collection and where it's at. And there's nothing that I'm seeking to try to get or anything at this point. I'm just trying to enjoy what I have. It seems like I've said that so many times. But, like... Right now, I'm just trying to chill. You know, I'm trying to work on some other projects and things like that and focus on me. There's some things I want to do in my house. I want to go on vacations again and everything. So, and school just got out. So, we're not doing anything for this summer. Since we just took a trip for spring break, we're doing another trip later on this year. So, that's going to be like a big trip for us. So, there will be no vacations this year for us. And... My son will be going away for the summer, so at least he has something to do. He still gets to go and have fun while the adults have to stay home and work, you know? <laughs> he keeps saying he can't wait till he grows up. I was like, it doesn't get any funner, you know? This is the best time. Enjoy it while you're a kid. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is wake up, go to school, and do the best you can do. You don't have to worry about bills or anything else like that, you know? Worry-free life, you just don't realize. But while we're so young, we always want to rush and grow up. And then when you grow up, you realize, like, why did I want to be an adult so fast? But anyways, what else has been going on with me? Well, me and my aunts, we took like a girls only trip, just overnighter. We went to Savannah, which was awesome. It was a great little break. No kids allowed. <laughs> but we say we definitely want to start doing that more often. And um make it longer and then some trips we're going to do where we incorporate the kids as well you know not just adults but this time of year it was just good to get just us out and we just did some r and r you know you did some relaxing we stayed at an amazing hotel which is the embassy suites which is down by their tanger outlet mall in savannah we were going to stay in downtown savannah where everything is but actually where we were which is more in pooler there was a lot of shops and a lot of restaurants, movie theaters, anything you wanted to do, you pretty much could have done it in that area. So we really didn't have to go downtown. We found so much to do right where we were. And and I'm a foodie. Oh my gosh. That's why I have to work out because I love to eat. And my big thing, I love going to like the little dives as they call it or like diners where the little hidden gems in the area, not the mom and pops. I love those type of restaurants. I don't like going to chain restaurants so much. I mean, I will do it, but I prefer to find like where the locals like to eat at, you know? So we first we went to 
it was a deli that's in the Tangra Outlet Mall, Savannah. I can't remember the name of it right now. It actually was on Triple D, if you ever watch the Food Network, is which is um, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I usually try to go to restaurants that they actually go to as well. But um, they were actually featured on there, and the food was so amazing. I just... Everything was fresh, you know, fresh vegetables, fresh food. I prefer that over frozen, you know, and anything that has to be imported in. I love where you can just get fresh seafood. And once you have fresh, it's hard to go back to anything else. And then we also found like a local seafood restaurant, which I didn't know they filmed a scene from the Forrest Gump movie, um, which is Love Seafood and Steak which was so good when we first pulled up we thought that it was going it was crowded people were standing outside but there were large parties that just showed up like people came with like a bus of 60 people and things like that but they actually got you in and out pretty quickly and considering how busy they were the food was amazing you know a lot of times when you go to places and it's their busy time then food's normally not that great but it was so good Ugh. But at least I'm glad we got a lot of walking done in that because after eating all of that food, I definitely needed to walk off some things and try to get back on my regimen. <laughs> oh, God, 30s are tough. But that is about all that's been going on with me, just working and just working on me, doing some things, and then my trip. And I mean, I had a little time with my babies. Um, I picked them up from here and there, but I hadn't really been changing them or much or anything because like you've seen haven i posted a picture of her on instagram probably three weeks ago, almost a month ago and it's the exact same outfit and she's in the same spot <laughs> so it's time for her to definitely do a change she will get that done this week i promise you guys you know i'm gonna try to pop in as much as i can to do videos i can't say exactly yet yet how often they'll be but um i try to do them as I can but I definitely wanted to show you these two girls because I get a lot of questions about them and especially Miss Kelsey you know so I definitely needed to do another video a slightly longer video um besides the slideshow showing this little mama she's such a big girl and we got the doll show that's in Asheville North Carolina that is coming up in two more weeks I am still going to that I'm going to be driving down, so it depends if I'm going by myself or not. I don't know yet, but I am definitely still going. I'm looking forward to anybody that might be attending meeting you guys there, but I want to have some fun, you know. But I think that is all for now, and I want, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I want to say thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming and seeing me and these beautiful baby girls. And until next time, we'll see you next time. See you later.